Time now for the Friend Zone. We invite one of our colleagues from inside the building here at Fox onto the show. And tonight, welcome one of our favorites, politics editor Chris Steyerwalt. The rise of Donald Trump, of course, has attracted the media attention to the plight of rural America. But Chris spent a decade seeing that up close while working in West Virginia, where he's actually from. Truth. So what do you, I mean, you see this stuff, all the, you know, the books and the monographs, and some of it's interesting and seems true, but how, how do you respond to that? Yeah, there's a lot of sadness porn going on in yeah. the American journalism uh, community right now, and people like to go to places where I grew up, like, like where I grew up, or in West Virginia that I covered for a long time, and they, it's basically, they go, they read Hillbilly Elegy, which is a great book, yeah. uh, they go read J.D. Vance's book, and then they go out and they go to a diner in Hurricane, West Virginia. They talk to four people and they say, everybody's addicted to opioids, these poor, miserable people. And Trump's their fault in the, the narrative in each of these stories. Trump is their fault, but you should pity them because they're such benighted people. And at a certain point, you get frustrated. And you get frustrated as somebody who knows that it's always... So the truths that now the press is awakening to have been true for a long time. Yes, that's right. They have been true for a very long time. Bobby Kennedy did the tour of the Cold Well, and, and JFK. He right. came down, he brought uh, Brinkley with him, David Brinkley with him, and they rolled over this bridge in Cabell County, West Virginia, and the slats were open on the bridge, and, and poverty in Appalachia. Well, I want to tell you, I was over that bridge not that many years ago, and it is still not in very good condition. Right. So the government, politicians, and the press have been talking about poverty in Appalachia a long time, but I think that there is an, an element of it, part of it is politicians of both parties tricking people and telling them, we're bringing back the coal, we're bringing back the steel, we're bringing back all these things. But another part of it is this exploitative part right. that the press loves to go in and wallow around and pity these poor folks and then leave, but they don't get the whole story. And what's the whole story? The whole story is, and Tyler Cowen, the economist, wrote a great piece, just a plug for him. It was a great piece, his Bloomberg column, where he said, okay, there are a lot of people in West Virginia who are on opioid drugs. There are a lot of people who have dropped out of the workforce. There are a lot of people there. Let's look at the economy underneath. The economy underneath is astonishingly productive. It is amazingly good. The people who are working there are working damn hard and doing a great job. And they're smart. And they're smart. And they're maintaining a quality of life and they're maintaining an income that is comparable to Japan or France. And that ain't that bad for a place that everybody in America right now says is the benighted, dismal swamp that has cursed America with this president. Give me a break. Also, honestly, where would you rather live? Japan, France, New York City, or West Virginia? I'd rather live in West Virginia. Tucker, if I could get, the, if I could get them to move the government to Ohio County, West Virginia, I would be really happy. It would probably ruin Ohio County, West Virginia, but then I could live there and I could <laughs> raise my kids would. there. Yes. You think it's tough now. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. It's great to see you. It's good to be here. As always.